Hello everyone, this is Daffy Rock, and I'm going to start my playthrough of Resident Evil Zero. Uh, my project, my plan for this project is to actually play through the entire series, uh, starting with Zero. Um, as most of you probably already know, Zero wasn't the actual first game that came out, but that was Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3 actually came out before Resident Evil Zero. And it originally came out on the uh, GameCube. Uh, so that being said, um, I am playing on the PC. Um, we are going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and play it on normal mode. I usually play every game on hard, but that being said, I don't want to annoy all of you by watching me constantly fail. I mean, unless you're into that, but for now, we'll just put it on normal. And Resident Evil Zero. Go from there. A Midwestern town in America, Raccoon City. A solitary island far off in the sea, Rockfort Island. An island that would become the second Raccoon City, Sheena Island. There are still many unanswered questions about these seemingly unrelated yet intensely traumatic events. Though it is believed that the International Enterprise umbrella was somehow involved, Little is known as to the origin of this faceless corporation. When was it established? By whom? And how was the T-Virus created? To uncover the truth, we must delve deeper into the events which transpired in the beginning, before the mansion incident. Do you think so too? Yeah. Do about it. Should hold off for a while. I wonder how those iron people would react to this. began as a simple investigation of some bizarre murders in the suburbs of Raccoon City. Nothing in our training could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. We never stood a chance. What's going on? Engine failure! Emergency landing! Check the current position and investigate the surrounding area. Captain, look! <gasps> Captain! Hmm? What happened? Order for transportation. Prisoner Billy Cohen, ex lieutenant, 26 years old. Court martialed and sentenced to death July 22nd. Prisoner is to be transferred to the Regathon base for execution. Those poor soldiers. They were good men just doing their jobs, and that scum murdered them and escaped. All right, everyone, let's separate and survey the area. Our friend is brutal and ruthless. Keep your guard up.
the door safety is shut. There is no turning back. All right, so here we are, Resident Evil Zero. I'm probably going to keep the uh, videos short too, about maybe. Um, so that's kind of what we're looking at. Um, a little, uh, I haven't played this game since I originally had bought it on the GameCube way back in 2002 when I bought the actual GameCube along with Metroid Prime all in the same day. Um, and that was when I was still learning about memory cards and I didn't have one, so... Yeah, I died quite often. Um, that being said, I know a lot of people uh, don't really... I guess like this game, maybe? I don't know. Um, it's still Resident Evil for me, and I do kind of have a soft spot for Miss Rebecca Chambers here, the uh, medic for Bravo team. And so, that being said, let's talk about that opening. So what's interesting about that opening is, if you've ever played Parasite Eve, it, it has a lot of the similar tones, at least for me. The idea of the opera and then everything just going to complete hell in a handbag and everybody dying. Um, so, the uh, actual farthest I got in this game is, I think, uh, a clock tower or like a church or whatever. Um, I want to say you're fighting a giant bat. So, for the most part, this is going to be a somewhat of a uh, blind playthrough. So, um, alright, well, without further ado, let's uh, jump into this, shall we? Luggage lights strewn about the cabin. The seats are strained, stained red with blood. Where did everybody go? I do like that they keep the original transition screens. This is Officer Chambers from Stars Bravo Team. Please identify yourself. Is someone there? The <gasps> radio? What's with that radio? This is why you don't touch dead men things. Oh, and then we have ninja zombies. Ninja zombies are the absolute worst, as you never know when they're going to strike. And of course we have static camera what angles, so I thought they were dead. Thank goodness for auto aims so that way at least you know where they're targeting. And also you thought wrong, Rebecca. They are not dead. Well, they are, but now they're deader. And uh this here always looks like Larry King to me. Too soon, maybe. But we shall call this the Larry King card, because we'll be visiting it often. Alright. Let's go check this back here. The door to the dining car is locked. You can't get in. Well, apparently the train has locked me in and won't let me leave. Oh, zombies are back.
the rain outside is quickly turning into a downpour. Some ammo. Don't mind if I do. And got a letter here. Passenger's Diary, July 14th. Orders came from the boss today. Looks like we're in charge of investigating the remains of the Arclay Mountains Laboratory. We're moving in two groups. The initial group is assigned to start checking what is left of the abandoned experiment. July 16th. Unfortunately, the test production of the BOW Type Y-139 had to be suspended because of this investigation. It's the same with Type Y-139. There's still so much we don't know about responses to the crustacean T-virus. There's a lot of interesting research left. Depending on the species and nurturing conditions, only minus, minute doses of T bring about remarkable changes in solidity, size, multiplication of eternal toxins, and brain development. If these effects can be controlled, a powerful weapon could be produced. But the sudden development of the shell results in a corresponding fragility. Certain areas become exceedingly weak. Problematically, one of these areas is a head carapace. The lab we are going to, were they pursuing the same research? It would certainly help to find data and samples that would help us in our research. June 19th. The day is finally approaching. I'm growing more anxious. The Raccoon City newspapers and TV stations are full of reports about bizarre murders in the suburbs. It can't be the virus, can it? If it is, no. I can't think of that now. I have to concentrate on this investigation and make sure it goes smoothly. Well... It did not, apparently. Well, there's an ink ribbon. Oh, this must be a save room. You know, by the calming, soothing, mellow music. Um, looks like there's an herb here. Now, one thing that is different with Resident Evil Zero as opposed to a lot of other Resident Evils is that there is no save chest. And what I mean by that is the majority of the save um, areas in every single Resident Evil, except for this one, has a chest that you can put things in and then they're shared amongst the save rooms. Um, this one allows you to drop items wherever, and you can actually go back and pick them up again. Uh, Would have been great had this game in co-op, but it can become really mundane when it comes to uh, managing your items. So there is that. Uh, but here we have another letter or note. Investigation orders. Stained with blood, some sections are illegible. Eight miles north of Raccoon City, in the Arkley Mountain, lies our company's management training facility. It was shut down years ago. Now we are conducting a preliminary study into the reopening of the facilities. First investigation unit is already on site. In opening the investigation, I want you are a team to provide a support <laughs> the following orders re will embark and one s the first investigation unit the rest is torn and unreadable i'm sure if you're reading that you'd be able to fill in the blanks but i figured it'd be fun to try to not to but obviously the uh, first investigation unit's already on site um we will save at the half hour mark um so we'll go ahead and continue our investigation here, um, as our saves are limited. So we'll base on the amount of 
grip it what we got. Oh, some people aren't going to be getting their packages. Luggage lies strewn about the cabin. Uh oh. It's locked and can't be opened. The door reads Conductor's Office. Look, he must have been one of the chefs. The train employee's corpse has been brutally torn apart. I don't know, it looks pretty intact to me. He's holding something. We got the train key. Billy. Lieutenant Cohen. So, you seem to know me. Been fantasizing about me, have you? Whoa, dude! You were the prisoner that was being transferred for execution. You were with those soldiers outside. Oh, I see. You're with stars. Stars. Well, no offense, honey, but your kind doesn't seem to want me around. So, I'm afraid our little chat time is over. Wait! You're under arrest! No thanks, Dollface. I've already worn handcuffs. I could shoot, you know. Yo, he went through the effort to get one off. Why didn't he just take the other one? <laughs> uh oh, doggos. Edward! Oh, oh not what? yet. Sad what you happened? remember the part. Doggos come flying through the windows. Worse than. We, we can't. You, you must be careful, Rebecca. is full of z zombies and monsters zombies and monsters oh my uh, uh. oh doggos see doggos evil bad doggos at least we're not resident evil 5 doggos that are super annoying oops Doggos were harmed in the making of this game. Edward, you were so happy just a few hours ago. He's holding something. If only he had actually had that ammo inside his gun, things probably would have turned out differently for him. You would think that of, like... Considering how high these windows are on a train, the fact that he would have to jump through the window, I don't know, that's pretty impressive to me. Also, I like how everyone's just jumping to conclusions. Like, yeah, obviously, an ex-lieutenant, by the way, isn't a rank when you're reading the paper but everyone just jumps to conclusions say oh he's obviously evil they were just doing their jobs all right let's see what kind of key we got here Oh, it is the dining car keys, so let's go ahead and unlock that door, shall we? Well, actually, let's, let's, let's get up here first. Oh, boy. Looks like some kind of eggs. A puddle of slime has formed around them. There's an antique style phone. The line has been cut, rendering it useless. Sure, we'll take the green herb. Oh, that is gross. Hmm. One thing I do find funny with these HG remakes is the uh, the cutscenes. The gameplay, the game itself looks way better than the actual cutscenes.
through the window, you see a broken ladder. It's of no use right now. Well, really, no use at all with them being broken. This is Rebecca. Over. Enrico! Hello! Can you read me? Please respond. Rebecca, I can hear you. Now listen up. We've obtained detailed information on the fugitive from a document found in the wrecked wagon. Billy Cullen killed as many as 23 people. Over. 23 people. We have also confirmed that he was institutionalized, so keep your guard up. Can you hear me, Rebecca? Over. I mean, nobody cares about this dude just Stay came flying in through the window. Enrico! Captain! Hello? Hello! Well, I don't trust the captain. Ooh, that scared me. I wish I could just stomp on their head. I mean, that's an assumption to make, considering I've only come across one locked door. So, yeah, sure, why not? We'll throw it away. <laughs> Be screwed later when we come across another locked door. It's gonna be dangerous from here on in. Why don't we cooperate? Cooperate with you? Listen, little girl, if you haven't noticed, there's some pretty freaked out things on this train. And I, for one, want to get out of here. I don't think we stand a chance doing it alone. You expect me to trust you, a wanted felon? I don't need your help. I can handle this on my own. I'm and don't call me little girl. Yeah. <laughs> All right, miss do-it-yourself. What should I call you? The name is Rebecca Chambers, but that's Officer Chambers to you. Well then, Rebecca, why don't you go and try while I wait here? I will. There's a letter here. Notice to supervisors. When closing the dining car, supervisors are asked to switch off the automatic doors after ensure, ensuring all staff have vacated the car. The main automatic door power switch is located on the roof of the fifth car. Inspections will take place when the train is garaged. After inspections are complete, use the ladder at the rear of the second floor of the dining car. Umbrella Court Maintenance Department. It looks like an automatic door. There's no power now, so it won't open. Well, let's go prove Mr. Cohen wrong. Murderer of 23 people who would shoot me on sight. Ooh, spooky. Let's put this in here. It's locked from the other side. The counter is littered with slips of paper listing customers' orders. A half-eaten meal sits on the table. Sir, 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 your table's on fire. Sir. Sir, your table's on fire. Um, excuse me, sir. Your table's on fire. Sir. Well, based on my medical experience, that's not helpful. Oh. Yep, I'm just going to GTFO out of here.
apparently just shooting one or two is enough to uh, completely kill all of them. Are you okay? that guy oh. what's going on who's controlling the train <gasps> go and check out the first engine car you got the boss of me we got to cooperate with each other from now on you got that fine well i don't clue in girl or maybe you like being worm bait first of all, all right. those worms you are just slugs remember, i will shoot you if you try anything funny fine now take these with you. If you find anything, give me a call, all right? All right, player manual two, character switching. You can switch control between the two lead characters, Rebecca and Billy, and use their different abilities in regards to the game. The characters you currently control, the, cur the character you currently control is called the main character. The character you do not control is called the partner character. Controlling the partner character. The partner character has, generally moves independently, but you can use the R stick to control them for yourself. Selecting partner on the status screen allows you to assign instructions to the character. Solo. Both characters move independently. Team. Partner follows the main character. Attack. Partner attacks automatically. Idle. Partner will not attack. You can also press the back button to switch between solo and team behavior. Press Y at the status screen to switch characters. You will need to switch characters in order to progress in certain situations. Exchanging items. When your partner character is nearby, you can exchange items on the status screen. Choose the item from the main character's item box and select exchange. Character attributes. Rebecca. Rebecca has the following attributes. Can combine herb-related items. Weak defense. Um, can use a mixing set to combine chemicals. So she's a nerd. Character attributes. Billy. Billy has the following attributes. Cannot combine herb-related elements. Strong offense and can push many large objects. Because he's a dumb big guy. He's a jock. If the partner character is attacked, both the main and the partner characters will die if they take too much damage. You should always keep an eye on their condition. A partner being attacked in a different room will also call for help or over the radio. If your partner does call, go to help as quickly as possible. Cooperating with your partner, some puzzles cannot be solved by only one character. When you're stuck, try to see if using your partner will help. This game would have been great as a co-op game. All right, for now, we'll just bring him with us. Because um, we do need to go save here. So let's go ahead and get the game saved. And... You know, I would have, like, dismembered these zombies by now and just, like, make sure they don't come back. Alright, back in the Larry King card.
All right, everybody. Well, I thank you for uh, watching. Uh, if you like to see more, like and subscribe, and uh, I'll be putting these out. Um, well, we're building Monday through Friday. So uh, until the next time, I'll see you guys around. Bye-bye.